will, basically. Will Justin lose to Cammy today? Will Justin lose to Cammy today? Maybe we should rephrase it like, what should Justin do versus Cammy today? How should Justin play versus Cammy? Not, not will you lose? Because there's nothing in here that says like okay. yes or no. Can so it's more like, how should Justin fight Cammy today? Okay, how should Justin fight Cammy today? How should Justin fight Cammy today? Man, I wish, I wish, I wish it was I wish, I wish, I wish it was So, card number one, teaching and learning. Mm -hmm. Card number two, outdoors. And card number three is spread your wings. So, the origin of the card is teaching. I mean, the origin of the situation is teaching and learning. So, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then, teach these new ideas to others. Okay. And the second card is outdoors. Mm -hmm. Go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve some stress and gain new creative ideas. Mm -hmm. And the guidance is spread your wings. Do not hold back right now, Justin. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So I would suggest that you study a little bit mm -hmm. of the matchup. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you go outside to, get, to chill, you mm -hmm. know, before, I mean, dude, to regroup and refresh before you go into the before you go to the five on five. See, but most people though in, in a video game tournament when they go outside, they usually go like smoke or something. Smoke a cigarette. I know, but you don't smoke. I don't smoke. Just go outside, take a deep breath. So then I'm gonna get be, be by yourself. Be by myself. What if people come to join me and inflict me with their secondhand smoke? You know, you know the nerd shake, you know? Justin. You know how to do the nerd <laughs> shake as well as I do. <laughs> You're just going to have to go out there by yourself, take a moment for yourself, come back in here, okay. and then spread your wings. Don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect, Justin, and you are ready to soar. So spread my wings and fly away? <laughs> yeah, I, you could. I mean, I guess that if you wanted to take it in the literal sense, you could you could, uh, you could uh, jump roundhouse Ruf with Rufus okay. into EX Snake Strike, so yeah. keep that one in mind. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was pretty cute. Those, those are, those, th that was a lucky three draw, in my opinion. <laughs> In my opinion, <laughs> that was a very lucky three draws. Because, <laughs> I mean, obviously you had the best first card for any type of video game thing is teaching and learning. Outdoors is most what most people do. They already, if I'm stressed out, I'm going to go take a smoke. Yeah, but you don't smoke. It's I know. just, you know, it's just more like to go outside and clear your head yeah. and spread your wings. Uh, I'm just saying it's, it's, it's pretty Protect like... Protect the air. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty kind of perfect. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes throughout the day. Because I'll... I'll, I'll if if the uh, if the stream will allow it, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll read I'll read the cards for different players throughout the day. Okay, it's <laughs> interesting. But that's a good dude. That's a good card, dude. That's a good card. Spread my wings and yeah. fly away. Yeah, because the thing is, like, I read my card. I, I do the cards every day. Yeah. Because uh, you can do like card of the day or a reading of the day or whatever. So like, and if you wake up and you'd be like, hmm, I want to. Should I? Should I? My ne my meal today should be f food or juice. Is that is that the cards that you? I never I never ask stuff like that. Like at the beginning of the day, I'll I'll just ask for the card of the day. Mm. Like so, for example, um, today, uh, the card of the day was prioritize. Yeah. And so I kind of that was why when I got here and you and James were here and it seemed like you guys were gonna hold it down. I was like, okay, cool. Like I'm, I still have work to do for fighting game mastery, so yeah. I'm gonna f I'm gonna focus on that. So I use the cards as guidance. And the thing is, there's 45 cards, right? There's 45 cards. There's 15 archangels. Each archangel has three cards, right? Okay. And the thing about these cards is I only get the same handful of cards. Like really? there's some so in you, here. So you, so you haven't got all of them yet? No. no. Like there's some in here. Um, there's some in here that just never show up. Um but the first time that I that I did a reading for someone, right, it was for um for my my uh, my friend Lauren, who yeah. I've known for forever. I you may have met Lauren once a long time ago, um, but anyways, like she had recently like got laid off from her job. This is right before we uh, we went to PAX, mm -hmm. and uh, I came back, and you know I told her about the experience with psychic, and then I'm shuffling the cards because like you know obviously losing your job, you know you're gonna be, um, you know it's gonna be on your mind. Yeah. So I come back, I shuffle the cards. Shuffling, I'm like, Lauren, you want me to do this reading? She's like, yeah, sure. Shuffle cards, and then a card pops out. And in, and the deck comes with this instruction book, right? 
and and in the book it tells you about each of the cards mm -hmm. and at the beginning it says um, <coughs> that when you're shuffling if one of the cards pops out you're supposed to use that card as the um, as the first card mm -hmm. where is it Ugh. Uh, shuffle the cards. Yes. Um, damn it. Where is it? And anyways, point is um, that in here it says that if a card pops out, you're supposed to use that card as the first card. It's a very important card. Okay. So I'm shuffling the cards. You know, we were talking, uh, you know, we had dinner. We were talking about how, you know, she lost her job. So that was the topic of conversation. So the reading that I did was, you know, what should Lauren do about, you know, losing her job? Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Card pops out face down. Flip the card over. And it was, where is it? It was career transition. Career transition. Okay. <laughs> where is it? Here, let me find it for you. So, oh, yeah, it was this one. So, um, that was the first card. Uh, the second card was, like, teaching and learning or something like that. Anyways, like, the point was, when that shit popped out, dude, we were like, whoa. <laughs> There's 45 cards. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, maybe maybe you're full of luck. There, there, that's, there's a reason why you made rolls for a long time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I learned a few things from the Italian gypsy. Right, so we have Chris G playing Makoto versus Lap Chi. I've never seen Chris G play Makoto, but Chris G is a master of many characters. Yes, he is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Lap Chi, oh, though, man. showing that he is more than just Chris an G organizer. Pulls, pulls the wallet out. Look at Lap Chi. Oh, dude. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. He's always happy when he <laughs> wins. I think he lost some lap cheap bucks. <sighs> oh, man. 